Well, good morning, YouTube world. How's everybody doing? Welcome to In the Kitchen with Tally Faye. Is everybody having a good Labor Day weekend starting starting off? Everybody all having a breakfast this morning and coffee and sitting out on the porch and stuff. Everybody's relaxing. Isn't it beautiful? What a blessing, y'all. What a blessing. So, anyway, I hope everybody's doing good. I am fixing to get in here, y'all. I got bacon frying, okay? I got my bacon frying. Now, my mama used to do this, and we loved it. She'd make them, but mama would make them up in like a 9 by 13 pan because it was all us kids and daddy and her, right? But mama would make up, we, we just said it's bacon biscuits. That's what we having for breakfast, and, and sometimes we had that for supper, y'all. Sure did, right? Bacon was our meat, and we had bread. And it was good. I'm telling you, we'll tear them up. I, I want y'all to see this, how, how I do it. But this is an experiment, y'all. This is an experiment. I have never in my life made the, I'm calling them layered biscuits. You know, like the Hungry Jack biscuits in the can where they, where them little thin layers, you know, peel off. I want to try to make that. So y'all come along with me on this video and let's see if we can make some layered biscuits. Okay, if they don't work out, this video, this recipe is going out the back door to the chickens. They're going to have biscuits. They ain't getting the bacon, but they can have the biscuits if it don't work out. Okay, but I'm in hopes that we can make this work. Don't be scared, right? <laughs> I'm not going to be scared. I'm going to try this thing. Okay, here we go, y'all. I'm fixing to do it to it. I got my bacon cooking over there. Now, I need to get these biscuits started. Uh-oh, let me take my ring off. And, well, Daddy's watch is fine right there. Okay, I need me, start off with, I need me two cups. I got it down a little bit too much, John. There we go. I need me two cups of flour, all-purpose flour, okay? Now, I'm doing this because I don't have self-rising flour. If I had self-rising flour, I wouldn't have to do this baking soda, baking powder in here, okay? But I'm going to do them. Anyway, on with the program. We're making it from regular all-purpose flour, okay? Two cups of uh, flour going going in. All right, two cups of flour. And I like the size that this recipe makes, y'all. This makes the perfect pan of them, okay? All right, two cups of flour. Now I need three teaspoons of baking powder. Three teaspoons of baking powder. All right. One, two, and three. I'm excited to try this. I want, have wanted to do this for so long. Okay, baking soda, I need half a teaspoon. That's all I need is, that is half a teaspoon. Uh-oh, let me get over here where I can see y'all. These old spoons are, are so wore out. I think that's, a, yeah, this... That one's a more shiny. Let me see. Yep, half a teaspoon. There it is. I'm going to make sure. All right. Oh, there went my oven. Let me say that. Hold on. There's half a teaspoon of baking soda. Y'all, my oven is preheated at 450 degrees, okay? And I'm going to be baking them in a cast iron skillet. If you have a cast iron skillet, use it, okay? Okay, if you have that. If you don't, don't sweat it. You can use something else, but cast iron skillet. That's going to be one of the secrets, I think, making it work right. All right, there's our baking soda. Now, we need some salt in here. We need half a teaspoon of salt. So, I'm going to get me half a teaspoon. Bam! Just like that. Okay, let's take these dry ingredients and mix them up. So, I'm just going to take my hand in there. Just kind of do it like this, right? So now we have what is the equivalent of two cups of self-rising flour, y'all. Okay? we That's what we got in here. Basically, anyway. That's what it would be if it was self-rising. Okay? There we go. Got that mixed up. Now we need butter. We need some cold butter, and I need half a stick of it. I'm going to use one of my little fatties. See, it's a brand new one, but like I said, it's short and fat like me. There you go. 
There it is, stick of butter. I'm gonna need half of it. One half. Let me check my bacon, y'all. All right, it's all right for the moment. Okay, let's take this half a stick of butter. And you want it cold, <clears throat> so I need to get on with the program with that. And I'm gonna chip it up like this, right? Chip it up in here. You want it cold. Try to get this, do this cold. Okay? All right, there we go. Now, let me take my little pastry cutter. I'm gonna cut that shortening in there. blobs off of there and little blobs are good they make them a little create them little air pocket thingies in it all right i still have to get my hands in it i can't help it pinch them up a little better i'm just better with my hands y'all some people i can use them tools and stuff and everything and i've just been using my hands all my life in this stuff and it just you know it is what it is. You, you use your favorite tools in your kitchen, just like any other job that has tools. And mine just happen to be my hands. Okay, good enough. Got them all in there. Chunky, little chunkies in there. Can you, it's, can you see them? Look, it's kind of, you can see them in there, I believe. Okay, there's our little chunky butters. Now, we need one cup of whole buttermilk, y'all. If you don't have, if you can't get whole buttermilk and uh, you've got regular whole milk at home, just take you one cup, right, and add one tablespoon of vinegar to it. Stir it up and let it sit over there about three, four minutes or something and come back and stir it and you'll have a cup of whole buttermilk for baking with, okay? But, and this is where I want y'all to see, I'm using a coffee cup, but y'all know that's a cup. It is. I've measured it before, so... Don't be scared. There's just a cup of buttermilk right there. Right there. Y'all, I gotta flip my bacon over here. Ooh, Nelly. I'm doing double duty, y'all. Let me get over here and show. <laughs> I'm gonna have flour all over my camera before it's through. Y'all know it's a tally fake thing, right? And I'm cooking this bacon slow so I can do the video on, so I can get my biscuits going. But y'all, mm, mm, mm. This meal is so good. It's just so satisfying to grab a bacon biscuit. And I know people are going, you know, well, you know, I want, I want bacon, egg, and cheese and stuff and everything. We didn't do all that. We didn't do all that, y'all. This is where the simplicity of my life comes in in the kitchen. With Mama kept it simple, you know? She kept it simple and we thoroughly enjoyed it. Okay, see, I'm just stirring this around because I want it to pick, pick it up in there. You don't want to uh, mix, keep mixing it and mixing it and mixing it, right? Okay. Get that sticky to pick that up. Okay, let me see. All right, I think that's going to be good. It's soft and pliable, right? Soft and pliable there. There we go. We got the dough. There we go. We got the dough. Okay. Now, move that out of my way. This out of my way. Can y'all see? Yep, okay. I'm going to take my flyer and put it on the board here. Now this is where, I need to pull y'all in. Let me see if I can do that. Okay, this is where the experiment is fixing to come in, y'all. Because I'm gonna take this dough, all right? 
I'm gonna take it. All right, let me do this. Take my rolling pin and I'm gonna roll it out, okay? I wanna roll it out thin. And roll it out thin. Now this is my idea of how this is gonna work, y'all. I have, I have no idea if it's the right way. That's what I say. It's gonna be a fun experiment this morning. It's either gonna be biscuits for us or biscuits for the chickens. One way or another, so I consider that not being wasteful. All right, I really want it thin. Y'all think about how thin those little layers are in the Hungry Jack biscuit, and I love them things. I'm gonna make it as big as this board. I don't care if I get flour off in the floor, I'll get it. Okay, there we go, I can't get it no no bigger on this board, y'all. Now, my idea is this, that I'm gonna take it and do it accordion style, I think. Oh, no, I'm not gonna have to do that. I can roll it. Okay, I can roll it. But I wanna do it about as big. Look, here's my biscuit cutter, so I wanna do it, yeah, about that wide. Okay, I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna just... Got it sticking there, gotta be careful. And roll it. Get me some flour on that. Okay. And we'll roll it. Like that. Okay. Do it again. And again. And again, and one last time. Okay, okay. It ain't very pretty on the ends, but ain't nothing we can do about that, right? I'm gonna take this biscuit cutter. I still want them, well, I guess they're gonna rise, y'all. We're gonna have to do them like this. I broke the handle on it. I'm so rough, y'all. I am so rough. I'm gonna have to go and break that off because I love these little biscuit cutters. There we go. I still got my circle, so I, oh yeah. Okay, now. I've got me a regular size um, cast iron skillet here and y'all see I just wiped it off with some oil, okay? Okay, let me back y'all up now. So I'm gonna take these and put them in there. It's gonna be so fun to see what happens with them, right? Uh-oh. Okay, I'm gonna just flip that over there like that. See y'all look. Okay, right, right. How, I mean, how can it not do layers? This ain't pretty, but it's... <laughs> I mean, it's got some layers on Okay, so I need two more biscuits. Okay, I'm going to do this again. I'm gonna, I don't want to work it a lot, but I've got to mix it back up. Right, right. Okay. Now, you get some flour. See, that'll make these two biscuits have a different texture almost, I think by doing that, but I got I got to do it. Got to do it, let me get them. Okay, now, let me roll them out thin. Y'all think I'm crazy for trying this? Y'all know I like to try stuff in there and I figured I'd let y'all go along with me on this journey because I have always wanted to make layered biscuits. I just love those layers in them Hungry Jack cans, y'all. Oh, make it thinner. Mm. I can still tell that these ain't gonna be as thin as the Hungry Jack, but it'll still be fun getting the layers. Okay, there's, this one ain't gonna have as many layers. It's only gonna have three layers. 
Oh, well, it's going to be, oh, what if I do it like this? Okay, bada boom. Bada boom, y'all. Looky there, okay. There's one and two. Woohoo! <laughs> okay, okay. Hey, all right. I'm going to put them in my pan. The oven is on 450 degrees, y'all. Now, that little bit of dough, I'm just going to have to, I ain't got room to make a little biscuit ball in there nowhere, so it's going to be what it's going to be. Okay, I'm going to put them in the oven and work on my bacon and get my mess cleaned up, and we'll see if we can have some layered biscuits with bacon in them, okay? Going in the oven at 450 degrees. I don't know how long. I'll have to watch them and see. <laughs> All right, y'all, it's been 18 minutes. That's how long I left them in there for. Let's see what it does. <laughs> does that look like a pan of Tallyfay biscuits, y'all? They ain't pretty, are they? I think I see layers, though. That's what I'm shooting for. I want some layers. Okay. Okay. All right, I'm gonna get get the uh, boys uh, and Lori to come in here and test them out. Okay, so the boys are coming in, and there's Lori, there's Bob, and there's Buzz. Come on, baby, quit doing that. Okay, y'all gotta test these things out. We gotta see if this layered thing is gonna work. Y'all grab you a biscuit, put you some butter on it. I got some uh, watermelon rind preserves there. Get you a slice of bacon and put on your biscuit. They look good. They look really good. Oh, oh I, looky. Is it doing the layers? Yeah. <laughs> look, Lori got it. Let me see, mm -hmm. Bob. Do, does it have layers? Yes. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. Mm. Okay, get they you some hot. butter on there while they're hot. Come on, baby. Oh, Lord, they're warm. Here, oh take, take your little napkin. I want to see how they are. Okay. Oh, it's flaking off. Oh, I love it. I love it. The butter's kind of cold. It's going to be hard. You'll have to... No, they're hot. They're melting. Okay. Put you, just put your top on it and slide it up. Slide the butter off there. It'll do it. We're like that. Look okay. it. Got them watermelon preserves there. Put a couple pieces of that bacon on there. And that way you get the sweet and the salt. We got to make a decision whether these are for us or the chickens. That's going to be the decision. Well, I'm sure they don't be for us. We got to know, huh? Is it good, Lori? Mm-hmm. Good. Yay! Okay, we got, a, we got a thumbs up from Lori. All right. Let's see what Bob's opinion is. Bob's a good baker, so he'll know if it's a good scratch biscuit. Uh-huh. Okay. Bob's, Bob's pondering. I Buzz, like you do? You yeah. like it? Very good biscuit. Is it? Very good biscuit. And it's got the layers. Yes. <laughs> well, all right then. That's awesome. There they are, y'all. Look at it. They ain't pretty, but they from scratch and got the layers in it. So that's how we're going to do this thing this morning. Good old bacon biscuits like Mama used to do. That's just You just eat bacon biscuits, nothing else. So maybe with some coffee or... I don't know, us kids get chocolate milk. <laughs> I hope y'all have a great Labor Day weekend, okay? So everybody be safe and have fun. I love you, and I'll see you next time in the kitchen with Tally Faye.